You remember when we used to learn stuff here on this channel? Let's get back to that. I'm gonna show you three ways to add super easy borders. I mean, ridiculously simple borders to your pictures in Lightroom Classic, Lightroom, and Photoshop. Let me show you how to do it. We're gonna start off applying our borders from the most simple to the most involved. None of these are complicated, I assure you folks, but we're gonna start off in Lightroom Classic, move into just Lightroom, and then end up in Photoshop. Photoshop is gonna be the most versatile. Now here in the OG Lightroom, this is essentially the old desktop version of Lightroom. This is Lightroom Classic. You get Lightroom Classic, Lightroom, and Photoshop all in that Adobe Creative uh, Photography bundle. You get all this stuff that I'm showing here for I think like $10 a month. Now here in Lightroom Classic, we've got our image opened up here. This is a free lensing photo of some flowers, obviously. Now to apply our border, we look over here to our develop panel. We're going to transform. We're going to look for the scale slider. And then we're just going to slide that to the left just slightly. There's 95. I just want to show you how that looks. And there's your border. It literally is just that easy. Of course, it's a white border. Naturally, it is not equilateral. It's a little smaller up top, a little thicker left and right. And uh, But that's literally all you can do here in Lightroom. It's just a nice, simple, quick border. Now, something that you guys have brought up to me and something I didn't mention, I don't think, in the last episode when we talked about borders is what happens when you start working with a cropped photo trying to add a border that way. Let's take a look. So we're just going to hit Command Z or Control Z to go back. Let's go and let's say we want to crop this photo to a one-to-one, -one, a nice square. Do it like that. There's our crop. We go back down to scale. Do the same thing again, but uh oh, it looks a little wonky. And the reason for that is Lightroom doesn't care that you cropped your picture. It still thinks it's working with that virtual copy, which was the original crop. So that's what it's basing the scale off of regardless of your crop. Let me show you a way around that. After you crop your photo, do all your edits, do everything that you want, all your processing, crop your photo. You want to export that. Doesn't matter what format. It can be a JPEG, a TIFF. You can leave it in whatever format it was originally, but just export it anywhere on your computer, anywhere on your hard drive, then bring it back in import that cropped photo again and then apply your scale let me show you how that looks so i'm going to select the cropped photo that i had exported and then brought back into lightroom classic so this is a crop photo lightroom for all intents and purposes thinks this is an entirely different picture so now it's going to let you do your scale just as we did originally and there you go that's the way around the uh, problem of cropping your pictures and then trying to add a border here inside of Lightroom Classic. You just have to add one more step, the export and the import again. To me, it's well worth it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this in the cloud-based version of Lightroom, which is now just called Lightroom. Here we are in Lightroom. Uh, Adobe was going through a little bit of an identity crisis a few years ago when all these versions of Lightroom were coming out. Now this is just Lightroom. It has no Creative Cloud on it. It doesn't have a Lightroom CC, anything like that. But this is more or less the cloud-based version of Lightroom. I don't know why I don't use this more, folks. It actually is a really streamlined, great way to use Lightroom. It's a, more or less a more user-friendly version of Lightroom Classic, but I digress. Now, to apply our border here in Lightroom, this is the cloud-based version. Again, you're going to go up to your little Develop Tool panel here. You're going to look for the Crop icon. Click on that. That's where our geometry is going to be, and that's where our transform is going to be, and that is where you can find the scale slider, just how it was in Lightroom Classic. Same rules apply. There's our border. Boom. There you go. Just that easy. Now, again, if I want to crop this, uh, it's going to run into the same problem as we did in Lightroom Classic, where it's going to look kind of wonky, a little off-center. So, again, if you want to crop a photo that you're working on, this is Leia being completely unamused by Lake Erie. Hey, baby. But if you want to crop this photo after your edits, again, export it out of Lightroom and then bring it back in and then apply your scaling. Next, I'm going to show you a way to add your borders that completely blows all these rules out of the water, folks. But for that, we're going to head in to Photoshop. Now here we have the same photo we were working with in Lightroom Classic opened up in Photoshop 2024. The border, a little more involved, but absolutely no harder to apply here in Photoshop. And plus we're gonna be able to add different color borders, different size borders, stack the borders. It's very cool. Let me show you how to do it. It all comes down to adjusting your canvas size. So what you wanna do, go up to image, 
go to canvas size. You can use keyboard shortcuts. I'm using a Mac here. The keyboard shortcut for canvas size is going to be Option Command C. So on Windows, I believe that would be Alt Control C. Don't quote me on that. So select canvas size. If you want to bring up this little toolbox, and to me, the most straightforward way, the most intuitive way is to do your borders by actual dimensional size. In my case, I'm going to be using inches because to me, more or less, what you see is what you get. You don't have to worry about the pixel size of the overall image, nothing like that. You say you want a half inch border, that's what you're going to do, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select our measurements as inches, go to the width, add in 0.5, Go to the height, add in 0.5. Make sure our color is set to whatever you want. I'm going to show you how to change it again in just a second. Let's say you want to do a white border. Select white. Make sure your swatch shows that color. Hit OK. There's your border. So now let's say I wanted to add another border to that. Let's say if you're doing this for social media, you don't know if people are going to be viewing it in dark mode, in light mode. You put the white border on there and they're viewing it light. It's going to look kind of washed out with the background. The same is true for dark. If it's a black background, that black border is just not going to help you out much. So let's add, let's say, a quarter inch black border around our white border that's already there. To do that, just repeat the steps. Go to canvas size. We're going to change the dimension to 0.25. That's a quarter of an inch. This time, we're going to click our drop down, go to black, swatch changes, hit OK. And there is your black border around your white border. Let's get really crazy with it. Let's say you want to add another type of border to this, a different color border. Same thing again, guys, you guessed it, canvas size. We're going to, let's say an inch border this time. Don't click the drop down. go to your swatch, one click, gives you literally all the colors of the rainbow here. Go something really bright, that yellow. Okay, okay, and there you have it. White, black, yellow. Let's do one more. I'm going to show you a little different color. Canvas size, just to be sure we know exactly what we're doing here. Let's go to half inch border again. And let's make that a blue. Happy little blue. There you have it. Now, putting borders on here in Photoshop, you can throw that whole crop export import thing from Lightroom absolutely out the window. Photoshop does not care. So I'm going to use Command Z to take our borders off. Go to crop. Crop that down. There's our picture. We go up to canvas size again. Let's add our half inch white border. There you go. Just that simple. You don't have to worry about Photoshop making it look all wonky, anything like that. Just go ahead and crop your picture first before you start adding your borders. Simple as that. I truly hope you enjoyed this little lesson in Lightroom, folks. If you did, let me know. I mean that down in the comments. If you want to see more little lessons like this, I literally wrote the book on Adobe Lightroom. Uh, there's a lot of tips and tricks that I can show you in Photoshop and Lightroom and just photography in general. We may just start having like a, a tip Tuesday or something like that where we just talk about some nice, nifty, brief, but very useful photography tips. Yeah, like I said, let me know. Until next time, thanks a lot for being here, everybody.